Developing tonight at 11, UGA students are still reeling after learning one of their former classmates was found dead on campus last week. And investigators say 22 year old Lakin Riley was murdered and tonight we're sharing more about her alleged killer's criminal history in just a moment. But first, let's get straight out to Teresa Bowles. She's live at Athens where classes will resume on Monday. So Teresa, we know you have been speaking with students tonight. What are they saying about the, the latest developments? Ron, it seems they've accepted their new normal at this point. And <clears throat> excuse me, while they may be expressing it in a variety of ways, one student says she doesn't want people to use this time as an opportunity for division. As UGA students continue to process the death of 22 year old Lakin Riley, I feel sad but comfortable. The arrest of Jose Antonio Ibarra seems to be bringing some sort of comfort. I saw several students such as Sophia Cajan running alone in a Coney Forest Park Sunday afternoon despite the tragedy that happened there just three days ago. It's more safer now so it feels like um, Nobody's wandering here, killing people anymore. Senior Josephine Setti too, taking advantage of the extra attention on the University of Georgia. Sadly, I feel like campus is probably going to be the safest it's ever been at the moment. That's why I feel comfortable coming here. Evidence led University of Georgia police to believe that Ibarra killed Riley while she was out on a morning run. She was found dead here with visible injuries. The news of Riley's death has been causing heartbreak all across UGA, Augusta University and beyond. Obviously, you always know that something like this could happen in your community, but you're really never prepared for when it does happen. Nor are students prepared for the emotions that follow. One expression, Riley's memorial has been turned into a statement. It still stands near the Lake Herrick sign with some additions. Someone added black tape to turn the word lake into the word lake in. Students were given a break from class Friday, but Monday it's back to the spring semester. I'm pretty fine to go back to classes because it's safer and it's more comfortable to be around people. But certain people have been sharing their opinions about Ibarra from parents to politicians. Statements have been rolling in even from the governor about Ibarra's immigration status. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> entitled to their own opinions at the end of the day, but politicizing a girl's death before she's even had a memorial service is just very upsetting and shameful to me. And until Riley is late to rest Friday, students want her to rest easy. At the end of the day, I, I, I don't mean this in an upsetting way, but life does go on and you have to continue. And I assume that's what she would have wanted if she was a member of the community. Monday afternoon, Riley's sorority will be holding a vigil on campus and Governor Brian Kemp is also expected to speak here in Athens.